with this particular bill, it makes both sides happy. I believe it allows those who believe in investing in infrastructure uh, can, and those who uh, prefer not to have the opportunity to refund that. The men and women of MoDOT, who I find to be some of the most dedicated people I have ever worked with, uh, have been fighting with inflation for 25 years. Over the last 10 years, we have produced over 4,300 construction projects in this state. They've come in, they've come in 92 percent on time and 6 percent under budget. That's nearly a billion dollars under budget over that 10-year period of time. That's public-private partnership at work every day out on the roadways trying to maintain the system and bringing great value to the, to the taxpayers. Uh, recently, the Reason Foundation uh, uh, mentioned that uh, MoDOT was one of the most efficient DOTs in the country. We're very proud of that. We're coming out of a pandemic. Um, all of our construction workers have somewhat had a slowdown uh, across the state. Um, and as that dollar has been eroded over the course of 20 plus years, um, we have less people doing less construction work on our roads and bridges. But this is an exponential problem. We're talking about creating 17,000 new jobs, not just in construction, but in materials, um, in maintenance on those facilities, but also in our manufacturing industry, um, not just for the construction materials, but our manufacturers in the state rely on our network of roads, bridges, ports, and airports across the state. And when there's delays, when there's a bridge that's closed down, when traffic is, is snarled, um, that costs them money. And, and they look at those places and whether or not that we're being competitive in our, in our infrastructure. And so this is a win-win for us. We're partnering with the Missouri Chamber of Commerce on this. On this. this is business labor working together. I'd like to just echo everything that's already been said. Go on record and support. The Chamber strongly supports this bill. Uh, I think it's much needed for the state.